hey guys what's up happy friday today i have another crochet hairstyle for you guys but this time i'm not going to be installing it in my head i'm actually going to be installing it on a crochet wig cap so if you guys want to see how i achieved this just continue watching So for this look, I have the Free Trust Braid 3x Bonner Lock in the color Copper. It's 18 inches long and I used 4 packs in total to achieve this look. So in each pack, there's 3 bundles. On each bundle, there's 12 pieces. So in total, I had like 144 braids. So yeah, just in case you're wondering you'll only need like three to four packs to achieve this look so like i said up front i used the new free trust anti-slip lace crochet wig cap to achieve this look now they also have the crochet cap it's an anti-slip crochet cap and that one does not have the lace at the front or anything like that it's just a regular cap with the anti-slip grip around it okay but for this look like i said i will be using the lace crochet wig cap and i wanted to use this one because i've never tried it before I've never tried a crochet cap before in general like so I wanted to use the one with the lace at the front because I thought it would make more sense it would make me feel like I'm making an actual lace wig a lace part wig you know <laughs> anyway guys around the entire cap there's the anti-slip silicone strip and that helps the wig to stay in place wherever you put it so whether you put it as a side part or a center part everything stays in place and i love that silicone strip because it also makes a wig feel so comfortable once you put it on the cap is super comfortable so it comes with two combs up front one at the back normally i hate combs but i'll explain later why i love the fact that they added combs to this um wig cap but yeah there's combs in the wig cap so for those of you who like combs no need to worry it's there for your convenience and everything like that plus the cap stretches so I love that about it and I pretty much just dove straight into it and started crocheting the hair onto the wig cap now I'm only gonna crochet it once and when I say that I'm only gonna loop it once okay so you don't have to loop it twice because it stays in place once you pull that hair through the loop and make one crochet that's it you don't have to crochet it like another time and like secure it or anything like that because it's on the cap so that's what I love about it as well that makes it so much faster and so much easier this hairstyle actually took me two hours and the only reason why it took me two hours is because I love doing my emails while I do these hairstyles because I can't seem to do one thing at a time so yeah that's why it took me so long if I wasn't doing anything else trust me it would have taken me like about an hour or maybe less to achieve this entire look so as you guys can see I'm pretty much just spacing everything out I'm gonna space it out until I get all the way to the top and then I'm gonna go back in and fill in like the empty spaces that's there So I got all the way to the top and that's how I pretty much spaced it out. I did that so that way it's not too bulky and that way I didn't add too much hair and at the end turns out to look really crazy and bulky in like spots. So once you do it that way you can always go in and add hairs in and between. So when I got to the top like to the lace part 
area what I did was I stacked them really really close together that way it kind of hides all the caps so you won't be able to see anything in between and after I was finished with, with that that's when I went in and fill in some spaces okay so that way like I said it doesn't come out bulky and crazy Nice, nice. Now onto the installments. So what I did, I pretty much just braided my hair, like some small contours to the front and then just, you know, added it to some big contours going back. And I took some of the locks and I pretty much just crocheted one lock onto each braid right at the front. And that's just to make the front of it look a little bit more natural. And when I say natural, I just mean make it look as if I crocheted the entire the entire thing onto my hair when in fact I didn't, you know. So you can always pull that cap out afterwards or whenever you're going to sleep, pull the cap out put it on your mannequin head and you're able to sleep comfortably and the next day you just throw it on and go and it still looks natural like you actually just crocheted your entire head like I said. So I mentioned before that the cap comes with three combs, there's two up front and one at the back and I appreciate that because once I crocheted my hair at the front, it actually helps with securing the wig once you place it at the back of the crochet. So instead of adding a lot of hairpins, you have those combs to keep it in place because although it has the silicone strip, that's actually for the hairline but once you start adding the wig at the back, like on your hair itself, on those cornrows, it could start sliding back so the combs actually come in really really handy so a mistake I made that I'm gonna show you guys to prevent you from making that same mistake is that I didn't add the hair close enough to the hairline not the hairline but the parting space I think I should have added the hairs a little closer so that way the parting space would be a little bit smaller instead of so wide the parting space is really really wide right now and I'm not really liking it I'm not really liking the fact that it's so deep either so just a heads up once you're gonna um, crochet it or once you're going to try this look make sure to add the crochet here a little bit closer to the lace part so that way it's a little bit more closed up and not so separated you know it's like Moses part in the Red Sea right now but regardless it still looks a little bit cute I love the look I think it looks a little bit more natural um, crocheting my hair itself at the front just to you know hide the cap and everything like that but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below do you like this style have you ever tried any of the crochet wig caps before I know the anti-slip cap is the last one that came out I think the latest one that came out so let me know if you've tried it if you have intentions of trying it maybe you wouldn't want the lace one you might want the regular crochet cap but just let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below everything that I used today will be linked in the description box so make sure to check that out if you want to purchase but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon bye